You are watching Linux Lite Learning Part 3, and today we're going to discuss performing updates on your system. I'm also going to give you a tour of the Synaptic Package Manager, and all of that begins right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Right, let's begin. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice when you are checking out your menu here is that there is a selection here for installing updates. All you have to do is just click on this button here and the terminal will up, open up and it will um, ask for your password. And then once all of your updates have been completed, this window will automatically close for you. But the thing is, maybe you want to see what those updates are uh, at a late, you know, at a later time. Well, then you could use the uh, Synaptic Package Manager. Now you're going to see I have a ton of uh, updates that go in here. Okay, it does give you the option to use this script if you want to. I'm going to select no because I have an alternative method for doing all of my updates. Okay, but it looks like it is downloading the latest version of the manual. Great, so now I'm gonna have the latest documentation. So you'll definitely want to uh, run this script to keep the manual updated at least. Okay, so that's cool. All right, and now it says all system updates are completed and the window just automatically closed. Uh, we're gonna look at Synaptic though. So that would be in system tools here. Okay, and where is it? Here it is, right here. All right, we've got to put in our password for Synaptic. And of course, it's not listed as Synaptic in the menu. That's what had me confused here. It's uh, under System. It's under Install Remove Software. Now, they do have the Install Additional Software dialogs here. And basically, uh, we'll go over these at a later time in this series. Uh, I'll actually try each one and we'll see exactly which packages uh, each one of these uh, installs. Okay, so now we have Synaptic Package Manager open and what you can do here is uh, simply just select Mark All Upgrades and this will give you a listing of everything that is going to be installed. For instance, now I can see a little bit clearly what's going on when we update the system. For instance, I can see that I'm getting a new kernel, um, Linux headers, and a Linux image. And whenever you get Linux updated on your system, you know that means you're going to need to reboot after installing. So this is why I like to use this method for updating uh, because I can see everything clearer. Okay, so it's telling me what's going to be installed, what is going to be upgraded, and if you have any PPAs installed on your system, which we'll get to at a later time, uh, PPAs, a personal package archive, sometimes marking an upgrade on your system may actually remove some packages. So you'll want to consider this sometimes when you are upgrading your system, whether or not you know you want to accept a particular upgrade because it might remove a package that you're using. So this is why I like to use this method. So I'm going to go ahead and select mark all of these. And then to run that update, all I have to do is click Apply. The next dialog uh, will click Apply. Again, it's telling me that 187 megs of extra space will be used and 51 and a half megs have to be downloaded. Not too shabby. So we apply that and then we wait for this to complete. Once that update is completed, just go ahead and restart your computer. All right, now that we've got all the basics done with uh, updating the system and everything after the install, 
I suppose now we can start moving on to some fun stuff. So in the next episode, I'm going to go over Whisker, which is a nice alternative menu that can, you can use in place of the default menu that ships with the XFCE desktop. I'll see you next time.